What's up guys? This is my second video on my favorite things. I thought since I got a good response from uh, the first uh, video I did on favorite things on back training, um, I figured uh, since, uh, like I said, got a good response, why not do more? And I have a lot of favorite things. So um, if I could share uh, some of those with you guys and, and help someone out there, definitely well worth uh, making the video. So um, my, sec my second uh, video on my favorite things is, is going to be on this bad boy. And this is a hatchet. And this is a fairly, this is like a brand new hatchet. I've had it for uh, since 2011. Um, it's more of a symbol than anything. I don't use it. Uh, I, don't, I don't actually use it to cut anything. I used to have it in my gym uh, at my old house on the wall while I was prepping. And Why it's symbolic is um, my uh, back when I was about, oh, I was probably 13, 14 years old, maybe uh, 15, maybe somewhere in there. Um, my stepfather, growing up with my stepfather, he was a very tough man, very hardcore. Um, he had a, a lot of good core values to him. His approach, his methods on on uh, the way he uh, taught me some of those values was, at the time, seemed very harsh. But as an adult now, um, I could really understand and appreciate um, those values he taught me, and and uh, and um, you know, it's something that uh, I carry with me to this day. And a lot of those values is is why I am a successful bodybuilder coach. Um, but anyways, this is one of my favorite things and it's, it's like I said it's a symbol of a rusty hatchet that uh, uh, we had uh, my stepfather had back when I was a, a young younger teen and we had this root uh, we, he, he wanted to put down a um, um, what do you call it like tile uh, flooring for outside outside in, in the yard like um, tile like these red tiles and in order to to put that in we needed to get rid of a tree root um, in our backyard and this root was probably about I'd say this big around and it was under it was under the ground obviously it was a root um, so I, basically he's like I want you to dig that root out um, and, and he gave me that rusty hatchet um, not this fancy sharp one it was rusted out the blade on it was super dull and um, and yeah, I he gave I didn't have any gloves, and basically he's I want you to cut and get rid of that root. Um, so I had to dig around the root, the dirt, obviously, and then I started whacking away at this this root. And um, let's just say that it was probably five, six hours later that I was able to get through this root, get rid of it, um, but. Um, my hands, both left and right, were tore up, blisters, um, just nasty, just tore up. And, um, you know, it wasn't like I could say, hey, you know, I'm not doing this, because basically, you know, I would get in trouble. He was just like, you're going to do it. And um, just extremely exhausted, sweaty, dirty, hands tore up. Uh, my shoulders and arms were just so tore up from swinging that thing. But, yeah, after I got through it, you know, I, you know, he, he basically said, uh, that, that's a valuable lesson for you right there. If you want to avoid that type of work, you need to get an education and you need to work, you need to work smart, um, you know, work hard, but work smart. So that's where that philosophy that I have now, um, you know, that I talk about in, in like my, my, my Godfather Saga videos about having balance with prep, balance with bodybuilding. It comes from that. It comes from, you know what, you could freaking work your ass off and freaking kill yourself to death um, but it doesn't mean it's efficient and and that's what he taught me with that lesson cutting through that root um, with a freaking rusty ass hatchet was he gave me a shitty ass tool a not very efficient tool to get the job done um, you know and if I would have used my brains or if I had a nice uh, you know, use my brains and got a better tool, or I had better, I was well, better equipped to do the job, um, I would have been a lot more effective and efficient. So that is definitely 
one of my favorite things is that rusty hatchet and this symbolizes that and you know when I train you know this was on the wall for a reason in 2011 and my whole approach my whole philosophy with that prep was to work hard but work smart and what that meant for me was you know not training to failure all the time not feeling like I have to feel annihilated after every single workout train hard avoid failure um, you know uh, if I need to change my rep speeds uh, change my rep speeds if I need to adjust my volume up or down to adjust my volume up or down if I needed to take a day of rest take a day of rest if I needed to do more cardio do more cardio if I need to do less cardio do more less cardio it it that lesson taught me to learn how to assess to assess things assess my current current situation what I'm up against and to know how to adapt to it to use my brain to think about it to work hard but also to work smart and I think that's why I'm successful to this now to this day uh, is that I've been able to take that simple lesson and apply it uh, not only to life but bodybuilding and um, with this prep now this 2014 prep I'm even taking it one step further and 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 the reason and why I'm saying one step further is because of that experience I had in 2011 with that prep um, looking back on it I could say yeah there's probably times when I could have done things even more effectively more efficiently um, so now this time I'm really uh, using that experience and, and knowing that okay I need to be a little bit more adaptable I need to use my tools what I've learned up until 2014 use all those tools that have that I, that I have at my arsenal use them to my best ability and be efficient with those tools so that's kinda one of my favorite things and that's uh, that's my story for you guys and uh, hopefully this helps someone out there that uh, you know sometimes uh, the answer is not always just plow through shit as hard as you can but find the most effective and efficient way to get the job done. Alright guys, that's it. I'm out.